If you've got large rooms in your home that lean toward minimalism, then the Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp will work a treat for you. It's a statement. Color-changing smart lamp with plenty of versatility baked in, from mood lighting environments to adding visual excitement while watching movies, and onto waking you up each morning naturally as the ultimate wake-up. Uh, however, its aesthetic, proportions, and price mean that it won't be for everyone. T3 is a massive proponent of smart home lighting and recommends the best smart bulbs for people to buy as a result. We think every home should feature smart lighting as it is a great way to spark joy and bring your individual character to your residence. Right here we have Philips Hue's latest offering in lamps, the Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp. And I, as T3's resident smart lighting expert, have gone hands and eyes on for the past week in order to test it out. Price and Release Date The Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp release date is now, with the product available to buy in its white, black, and oak base variants from the official. The, the, the Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp, which as you would expect for a product that measures in at 145.8 km in height, comes in a tall, thin cardboard box. Open that box and you are presented with the lamp itself, which looks like a super large white lightsaber connected to a cylindrical base. The unit I was sent for testing was the oak variant, meaning the cylindrical base boasted a classy wood finish. White and black bases are also available. The Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp price starts at PS 279.99 for the white and black base colorway models in the UK, and then rises to PS 299.99 for the oak base variant. In the US, the lamp starts at $329.99 for the white and black, and then rises to $349.99 for the oak. Take the Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp out of the box and Aside from a fixed-in-place power cable, there is nothing else but a small selection of paperwork and a get-started manual in there. Really, though, as anyone has used slash got any sort of Philips Hue lighting will know, this paperwork isn't really needed. To get this lamp working I simply plugged it in, opened the Philips Hue app on my smartphone, and then selected the Add New Lights option. The gradient scene was then automatically found, and I could then immediately proceed to name it, assign it to a lighting zone in my home, and then set the colors and slash or scene I wanted it to display. Simple is an understatement, the Philips Hue Gradient Scene Floor Lamp works when activated as a backlit lighting bar that is split into a series of gradient lighting zones, which in turn can be configured in the app by pulling three separate light icons around on a color palette. Which will, this lets you, say, have the top of the gradient scene blue, the middle red, and the bottom yellow, with a nice gradient transition between each color down the length of the light bar. You can also simply select Philips Hue scenes, such as Savannah Sunset, to have the bar display a curated lighting ambience. One thing you should know is that, boy, the gradient scene is bright, even in the middle of the day. If you turned on the gradient scene and turned all its lights to bright white, you could not stare at it. This is one powerful smart light, so at nighttime the gradient scene really pops. Imagine a lightsaber being lit up in a dark cave, and that's great for adding mood to rooms in the twilight hours or, excitedly for anyone who also invests in a Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box, incredible extra synchronized mood lighting for movies, TV shows, or playing video. A brace of these gradient scenes in a home theater setup and you're adding in a dump truck load of extra lighting immersion. You do have to have somewhere to put the gradient scenes, though, which is something that I found quite tricky without the gradient scene standing out in my home. From a design point of view, these lights excel, but that excellence demands they are positioned in an environment that plays to their strengths. In terms of performance, I was amazed at how easy the gradient scene was to set up and configure, as well as how powerful its light bar was. As with other Hue lights, the Hue app also makes it very easy to download and implement formulas from Hue Labs, which makes programming the scene to play out. Say, wake up routine easy. In all these ways, Philips Hue has nailed the gradient lamp. Secondly, after setting up the gradient scene lamp in a number of rooms in my home, including the bedroom, living room, and my study, which are all carpeted, the slightly springy nature of the carpet seemed to slightly overrule the stability of the base, meaning that even the smallest of prods would make it rock and look like it was about to fall. Basically, my feeling here is that the gradient scene cylindrical base needs to be a bit heavier. Overall, then, I feel the Philips U Gradient Scene Floor Lamp offers a lot to potential buyers, and it is one of the most versatile smart lighting products that I've tested. If you have a minimalist home with plenty of corners and walls, they can benefit from colored, graduated uplighting. 
Then forget about it, this product is for you. But, the gradient scene just didn't seem to naturally fit in with my home's aesthetic. Which doesn't lean toward clean white walls and open spaces that I feel this lamp most suits. I've either got color, painted walls, or patterned wallpaper. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.